Today we're going to be painting another Legion of Air Blight uh, miniature. This is a light war beast, the Terraf. Um, as you can see, I've already done the priming style that we've done in uh, most of the previous videos here. Uh, hit it with black and then airbrush white on top of all the surfaces. Essentially just turn, turn it towards the airbrush, uh, leaving all of the undersides black. So, um, this is going to be uh, another sort of speed painting video here. We're going to do, uh, we're going to still keep it to a high quality of, uh, of painting standard, uh, but we're going to try and do everything with washes where we can. We'll probably use some white paint and black paint and uh, washes. Um, but uh, I'm also going to try and time myself this time and I'll let you guys know how I did at the very end, but I'm uh, I'm actually going to keep a uh, stopwatch off camera here, and we're going to start going right now. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some azurum blue, and I'm going to water it down a little bit, um, just so that we don't have too intense a blue there. We don't want to wash the the white out completely. Um, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of water. This is not going to be precise. This is just going to be laying in blue on all of the surfaces. Most of this rocky uh, surface here, I think this is just referred to as blight. We're also going to paint that, you know, at least get up onto the edges of it just so that we've got uh, no problematic lip areas. Um, that we're working with when we go back to cut in all of that so uh, it's okay to paint over most of that because we're going to be um, doing some very opaque colors over that area so it's not going to be problematic if we get some over the top and in fact most of this area I'm painting right here is actually going to be sort of a fleshy pink color around the mouth um, that seems to be the, the style um, for these, for the most part. I'm actually going to move this piece of foam out here that I've got as a palette for the moment so it's easier to reach. There we go. Much better. I've been trying to develop sort of a, a technique uh, or an amalgamation of several other techniques that I've picked up from videos and uh, tutorial DVDs that I've purchased in the past to make a, uh, a painting style that is both fast, uh, useful for, for commission painting, uh, but still yields a very high quality product in the end. So we're trying to, to find something that's not back breaking. Um, take some skill but it won't take you, you know, a year to, uh, to finish an army. Especially not for War Machine hordes. Armies are fairly small. And we're not going to worry about most of that tail there. That'll all be blight for the most part. So it'll be a dark uh, charcoal gray that we'll be shading black for the most part. And this under area here is very, very dark. But that's okay. We want it to be shadowy, and uh, actually, a lot of that is going to be picked up um, by some of the blight that's going to go on the underside of that tail. So, we like extreme shading at this step because it makes our job very, very easy. Well, I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so we got the Hazerman Blue down now, and uh, it's all dry. So what we're going to do is I've mixed up a little bit of uh, white paint um, and Hazerman Blue and some water. We want it to be really, really thin, and we're just going to hit some of the, uh, the highlights here on the, the musculature. Um, we want to make sure that it's watered down enough that it's not going to be opaque anymore. Um, 
So you got to really make sure to add enough water. Uh, you can test it out on um, a colored piece of paper or something uh, first to just make sure that it's not uh, it's not going to be too opaque. And you're just going to want to pull towards where you want the lightest points to be. So here I'm grabbing down here and I'm pulling up towards the uh, the um, top of this hip joint here. We don't want to kill too much of the, the nice dark areas that we've created here with the, the pre-shading from the, the primer. So just be, uh, be really careful because it's easy to get carried away and uh, over-highlight. And then you've, uh, you've made more work for yourself instead of less work. There's lots of little striated musculatures up here, so we're just trying to pick out a few of those and highlight them. Okay. And like I said, don't uh, don't go too overboard. Um, and a lot of the the shadowy areas, you can hit hit a few. Of the uh, the high points, but don't don't really do a whole lot of shading, and on the really dark parts like underneath, don't do very much at all. In fact, I would stay away from it, just because the uh, the whole illusion is that you're you're forcing this concept of intense light on the uh, the top surfaces, and if you um, if you start shading or highlighting the undersides of things, it uh, it all but ruins that illusion. So, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll be back and we'll move on to the next step. So we've got all the first layer highlights done here. And so up next, I've added a little more white to the mix, making sure to keep it real thin. And we're just going to hit some of the highlights on the upper areas here. So just sparingly, we're going to hit a few of the, uh, the muscle formations that are really on top of the model or at the uh, the very top points of uh, some of the main parts here. So they could be a little lower, like uh, this leg really kicks out far. So we'll do a little, a little bit right there. Always pushing up to where we want the, uh, the paint to, to rest. Start where we don't want it, push it to where we do want it. So... Okay, yeah, this highlight is not going to take very long at all. Um, there's not that much that we want to do this really bright highlighting to. Let's, uh, let's do this hip over here too. Um, just make sure we don't have a whole lot of uh, really chalky looking spots. I think we're looking good here. So we. Um, I'm only I'm only counting about 17 minutes so far on the actual paint job, so we're moving pretty quickly here. Um, it's not taking us a whole lot of time to get the uh, the basic uh, flesh in, uh, so we're going to start the next layer here. Uh, we will probably end up coming back and doing a few more little touch-up highlights as we go along, uh, but let's start working on the uh, on the blight. Um, or actually, better yet, let's do the, the mouth and face. Um, I'm going to let this dry for just a minute, and I'll hit it with the hairdryer, and I'll be right back, and we'll get started on the fleshy parts around the mouth. So we're all dry here now, um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do, starting about right here and moving down, we're going to do some uh, some red uh, for, for this. And um, I am going to take just a little bit of white here, just a little bit, not not tons. We, we don't want to cover up uh, all the blue that it's down in the crevices. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the the peak areas here with just a little bit of white, so that we've got um, a lighter surface first to to put some of this red wash down on. Um, 
but the blue in the crevices, essentially what that's going to do for us is uh, when the, the red is on top of it, it's going to look purple, which is a perfectly fine uh, dark shade for this, uh, this gum um, look that we're looking for here. Let me get just a little more. And uh, this area down here is going to be blight, and the top area up here is going to be blight. So really we're looking at that line right there as gum, and just around the teeth there, and it's going to fade to right about there. So, um, all right. So, let me get the black paint off my brush. And I've got a little bit of the Bale Red already out here on the palette. Um, so we're just going to dive right into that. I'll move the camera over just a touch. There we go. And I'm not going to water this uh, Bale Red wash down too much, but I am going to put just a little bit of water in it, just so that it's not that super um, sort of syrupy consistency that Citadel uh, washes typically come in. Okay, so let's just go over these parts here first. And we can get down onto the, the blight areas that are going to be rocky looking. That's okay. Um, I'm also going to be getting into the mouth here. I find that painting the insides of these mouths with all these little fangs always wrecks my brushes, so I try not to use uh, too expensive a brush on this because it does tend to, uh, to get chewed up, no pun intended. Um, but, uh, there we go. So we've got that. And, uh, let's make sure to get that lower edge. So, as you can see, we're already getting a lot of that color that we want here. We want that, uh, dark red with some lighter red at the, uh, the peaks here for the gums. Um, and we're going to use this, uh, the same sort of pull method, uh, to lay some wash down back here behind this striation and just pull it in so that we've got just a little tiny bit of fading going on there. Um, essentially it's going to just pool up in these uh, creases there which is okay um, and it'll give us a nice uh, no, no hassle sort of uh, fade. Uh, you're not going to have to work at this too hard. Um, Getting the hang of it the first few times may, may be a little uh, a little bit of work, but you'll get it, I promise. It's not, not very difficult at all. Okay, sorry, I had a little camera failure there. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure where exactly that cut out. But essentially, we're just uh, we're looking to get a little bit of a, a purplish fade here into, into this area. Uh, we're going to come back and do some highlighting, but we just want it to be nice and dark and uh, purpley red for the moment. So this is uh, this is what you're looking for here. Um, yep. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and I will be back in just a few minutes.